It's the place you go when you need your fix of cute kittens playing with string or a how-to video to help you with DIY projects. It's hard to imagine a life without YouTube. And with each month that passes, more and more Africans are catching on to the usefulness of this vast video platform. You might think of YouTube as a video platform, but it's also the world's second largest search engine. That's an especially mind-blowing fact when you think that it only focuses in on one media form, video. In Africa alone, six billion hours of content is watched monthly, and almost 40% of that content is watched on mobile devices. On this continent, 100 hours of content is being uploaded every minute. The number crunches at YouTube have observed African users are less interested in lol cats and cutesy animals, and more focused on educational content. Growth on YouTube is really exciting because anyone that's a creator can broadcast themselves on the YouTube platform, as well as make money whilst doing it, so it's a win-win. All you really need is a smartphone or some, some sort of camera. Um, once you record your footage, you upload it to YouTube, you need an internet connection, and there you have it, you're a YouTube partner. Content creators make money on YouTube firstly by uploading their video to the YouTube platform. Once they do that, you can allow for advertisers to serve ads on your content. The more views you get on your, your content, the more money you make. The number of households that consume online video is projected to grow by 262% globally by 2017. That's a growth of numbers from 183 million to 480 million. Remember, that's households, so the number of individuals consuming online video is just massive. What we find on YouTube is that good content generally gets discovered. Um, it is a social platform. Um, people do talk about what they see on YouTube. We find the YouTubers 63% of the time telling their peers um, what they've seen and found on YouTube. Um, we also see a lot of cross collaboration where YouTubers are working together uh, to create brilliant pieces of content and that's a great way to get uh, your content discovered. There's been a very strong growth in the number of locally produced shows um, and we're seeing some really, really great success stories coming out of it. Uh, we've got Mdoon Tuli, who's an online animator, and in 2013 his videos were amongst the top 10 in South Africa. We've got Peter Siliers, who's got over 90 million views on his channel for home exercise workouts, and he's making thousands and thousands of rands off of his videos. We've also got Casper Lee, who um, has got more subscribers to his YouTube channel than BBC Worldwide, which is quite incredible. Although the viewership numbers are going up in Africa, we have a lot further to go when it comes to contributing content. Even though it's easier to create content, few people are, and of those, fewer are grabbing the attention of the African YouTuber. In 2013, the top five most viewed channels ranged from American vloggers to American talk show hosts. As content creators, we have a long way to go in order to captivate the audience on our stuff. The upside of all this is that with cheaper cameras on the market and more willing producers, we're at the beginning of an exciting stage in digital video consumption. We're one step closer to a complete internet-based content delivery system, one which will likely set fire to the media industry in the coming years.